Hey everyone and welcome to another Photoshop CS5 quick tip. Today I want to show you how you can move uh, an item that's on a photo in a photo and you can move it somewhere else. What I'm going to move is this lamp. I want to put this lamp behind the chair and then to review how I did that I'm going to go through the same steps and I'm going to move this picture up into the center and, and higher on this wall. I got this photo off of the house.com website and this is a really nice website. There are literally thousands of photos on this website that different designers have put on. And the photo was done by the Lamps Plus. And here you can see all the items that are in the photo are listed here on the right so I'll put the link in the description of this video in case you want to go and and browse lamps plus or look at um, all the other photos that designers have put up on the house.com website okay let's move this lamp all right I'm going to use the polygon lasso tool to cut around the lamp. I'm not going to cut around it too close because I don't want to leave any lines on the lamp behind on the wall. I'm not being too neat about it. I could always clean up the lamp a little bit more after I move it but I just want to make sure that I get all of it so that when I tell Photoshop I want Photoshop to see you know to put something behind it and Photoshop is going to predict what would be behind this lamp when I take it away so I don't want to leave any traces of the lamp behind Okay, so I've got the lamp completely selected and what I'm going to do is I want to add a, a layer for the lamp separately. I want the lamp on its own layer. So I'm going to click Control J and now that lamp is on a new layer here. You can't see it because the box is so small, but now the marching ants have disappeared and I want to put them back on this layer. So I'm going to hover over this little box of the image. And I'm going to hold down my control key and left mouse click and it brings back the marching ants. Before I move the lamp though, I'm going to click, I'm going to highlight the image layer again and make sure the image layer is highlighted. And now I'm going to click shift and F5 to bring up the content or the fill window and I'm going to choose content aware which is already selected but if it wasn't I just pull down the menu and go to content aware. I'm going to click OK and Photoshop just took away the lamp that's behind the, the lamp layer that I just made if that makes sense. Okay, so the moment of truth, let's see if the if Photoshop did a good job deciding what was behind that lamp. I'm just going to make the lamp layer blank. I'm going to hide it. And Photoshop actually did a pretty good job of deciding what was behind that lamp. It did leave it was kind of looks a little bit messy right here on the floor. So there'll be some additional editing that will need to be done to to fix that but all in all I think Photoshop did a pretty good job deciding what was behind that lamp okay so I'm gonna make the lamp visible again and I'm gonna actually click on the lamp layer because I wanna move it now so I'm gonna click the move tool and move that lamp up behind the chair I guess that's probably where it would sit on the floor up behind the chair. That's probably about how high it would come. I'm going to click Control D to deselect the lamp. And now I want to cut off this bottom part. So I'm going to get the rectangular marquee tool. I don't need to cut out as neatly as I did when I moved the lamp. I could just 
draw a square or a rectangle and backspace to cut it out. Control D to deselect it. Okay, I cut too much, but that's not a problem. I'm going to click the Move tool and just move that lamp down a little bit. All right. Okay, now there I could do some some more tweaking, of course, because this looks kind of messy, and I'll, I'll show you that in a minute. But to review, I want to move the the picture that's on the wall. So I'm going to click on my image layer again, and this time I don't need to be so precise. I don't need to draw around the image, so I don't need to use the polygon lasso tool. I'm going to get close enough with the, I'm using the uh, rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to get close enough to cut it out, but not too close to where it'll leave a, a line left over from the shadow of the picture behind. Okay, I'm going to click right there. And I want to put this picture on its own layer. So again, just, just reviewing, going through the same steps. I'm going to click Control J, and that put that picture on its own layer. And I want the marching ants back, so I'm going to hold down the Control key and left mouse click. Okay, so that brought back the marching ants. And now I want to erase what's behind the picture that's on the wall. So I'm going to highlight my image layer again and click Shift F5. And then click OK because Content Aware is already selected. And now I'm going to hide the picture to see, well, Photoshop did a pretty good job doing that. All right, so I'll bring back, make it visible again, go to the Move tool, and move. Whoops, I'm on the wrong layer. I need to be on the picture layer. I should have named that layer. Let me name it Picture. Just double click on the layer and type the name, what you want to name it. And then I'm going to name the lamp. That way I won't be confused what layer I'm on. Okay, make sure you're on the picture layer. Make sure the Move tool is selected. Then you can move that picture around on the wall. Put it wherever you want it. Over here, I'm going to center it and get it up there a little bit higher. Okay, I can deselect the image now. Erase the marching ants. Control D. And now I see a little blunt line around the picture here. So I'm going to show you how you can fix that. I'm going to use the blur tool to fix it. And I'm just going to blur that line. And I'm, I should probably be using my mouse. I've been using my, my um, touch pad on my laptop. And that's really, really hard to manipulate your way around things on in Photoshop. All right, that looks pretty good. Now it just kind of looks like a shadow around the picture. That looks pretty realistic. Maybe I blurred that bottom too much. Control Z will erase your last action. Okay, I like how that looks. Okay, I want to fix this lamp now. I don't want to go into fussing too much because it'll make this video too long. But let me just show you how you would fix this lamp. I'm going to use the eraser. And I'm going to make my eraser maybe three pixels. Yeah, that looks good. Oh, I'm not on the lamp layer. Oh, I hope I didn't mess up my picture. <laughs> I was on the picture layer. That's one of the hardest things to get used to in Photoshop is to remember 
to work, be working on the right layer. I can't tell you how many times I've tried to move an object on my file and something else moves because I don't have the right layer highlighted. I'm just erasing that that real sharp gray line around the lamp and I might blur around it too a little bit but I'm using the eraser tool right now I'm actually now I'm not using my um, my touchpad anymore I'm using my tablet and what I like about when I'm using my tablet and my it's it's got a, a pen tool with it it's a Wacom and I can just hold down the space bar and with my pen I could navigate because when I hit the space bar the cursor turns into a hand and this way I could just navigate around and when I let go I've got my brush back again I love my tablet for working in Photoshop. Okay, now I'm going to blur around it a little bit. Oh, not that tool. Blur. Blur. Okay. Just get the edge to look not, not so sharp. Of course, if I was doing this for a client, I would probably take my time and take take a little longer. Let's see how that looks now. Let me back off. That doesn't look too bad. <laughs> Maybe I blurred it a little bit too much. Okay, now to fix this floor, um, that's going to be a tricky one. Let's let me see if I. Use the polygon tool. Of course, I want to be on the image because I want pieces of the image because they're these are empty other than the lamp on this one and the and the picture that's on the wall on this one. The rest of this area is all empty in those two. So I want to make sure I'm on the image. And I wonder if I grab. that and move it over. Okay, I'm going to click Control J and put that selection back on it on it, or put it on its own layer and then click hover I got to hover. You got to hover over this image. Click hold down the control key, left mouse click. That brought back my marching ants and I'm going to, I guess I could stay on that layer and just drag it. Yeah, that looks better. And if I hold down my Alt key, I can drag off another of the same selection. And then I'll drag off another. That looks pretty good. Okay, Control D to deselect. And let me blur it just a little bit to get rid of some of that jagged edge. There's so many different tools that you can play around with in Photoshop to tweak things, I guess is the word I'm looking for. It looks a little bit like an oil painting, I guess, <laughs> but you get the idea. Um, I hope that somebody can use this. Um, comment if you have any questions or if there's anything else that you would like me to show you. Until the next video, bye.